when I said we didn't need a second hopper, we lost all that. So there was some stuff on there the other day. He was looking for something and he goes, page two is gone. Page nine says, no, it's not. And he goes, page two is gone. And it took me a few minutes to realize. And I said, baby, when we got rid of the hopper out of your room, you don't get page two anymore. So all those things that were on page two. <laughs> Daniel's on his way. I hear him coming. I want him. Well, Buddy and Steph are going to have to do something with this pile of stuff behind the trampoline. Um, oh my gosh, trampoline dumpster. But the dumpster people, especially during the winter and the spring and even fall when we get rain, it's horrible. See the ruts? Look at this rut. Look how big that is. So, you can see the rock right here. This is where we built up for my bus all them years ago when I brought my bus home. Jensen, come on. So I told Daniel to put it I wanted to move it and put it somewhere right here. It doesn't have to go that far back. Are you gonna pick up under it? I thought he would slide it into them arms like the truck does. Do you think it should just go here or like right there? When they back in, I said, well, they, I don't know, they come in forward, I guess. They just turn in. They back out. Yeah, that's how they do. So, just like right here, so they're not in anything's way, or closer that way. I just wonder if how much room they're going to need. And then back straight back out. He said something about bringing a rock. I said, no, not right now. I said, I'm going to put it where it's hard and then give it three or four days of sunny weather. Then we can, he can smooth all this out now some, but then he can bring rock later and fill it in. Well, I know that that one. To, far. I get plastic. Does it need to go in that dumpster? It's Buddy and Steph. Does it need to go in the dumpster? I, I don't know why they put it back there. Oh. Probably because it needs to go in the dumpster. So after he looked at it, he said he's going to go ahead and wait a couple of days. So this weekend it'll dry it this will dry out you can see like that shiny spot over there it's just slick it's just slick wet it's not become solid yet so he will do all of this and um then bring some stuff he don't have to bring rock because it doesn't have to be rock i'm gonna keep have them keep the tramp I keep wanting to call this daggum trampoline. I've been filming that daggum trampoline, I guess. That's all that's on my mind. Um, the dumpster will just stay here on the solid. This was built up. I mean, 
that culvert was put in and load after load after load of this rock was brought in and it went all the way to about where Emma is sitting right there in that I was carrying those limbs fell out of that tree I was taking them to the burn pile where the grass starts like there's a line right there where the grass starts that is all solid rock for my bus and when I would pull in the evenings um I would go my my bus route there was you know this was a long time ago wasn't none of this out here this was my part of my route was my this main road here and I'd go all the way down way way before the culvert was ever washed out down there I had a route that went on about five miles that direction and um when I come back, that was the end of my route was down there. And when I'd come back, I would come right along this ditch line right here. And I'd go up till my back tires were pretty much even with, um, not quite to the, the ditch where they were still where, and then I would cut that wheel and I just would back, 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 back all the way in. And I, the back of my bus would be back there but i know that one day buddy did some cleanup and he put all those branches right there there's a whole bunch of stuff there and i need to get that pulled out i don't know why he put it there but i told him that it keeps levi from the, that little bridge i think i've showed y'all that before and in, in other videos levi could come down the driveway see buddy put all this wire here too i need to get on to him He's going to do something. Buddy, Levi could walk down the driveway, come right through here. This was, I kept all this mowed, and he could walk right up on the, and I put a little hinge. I think y'all seen it, because I think I showed y'all that wasp nest in it. There's a wasp nest. I don't think there's a wasp in it any longer. There's my sign for fresh eggs. Yeah. They just put the mail in on that side and Levi can reach in and get it on this side. And it never has to get on the road. Honey, get over here. Jensen, come on. Anyway, I told Buddy when he piled all this stuff here, I said, Buddy, you've blocked Levi from getting the mail. Now I need to come out and I need to cut all this yo pond back and then pull all that out. Maybe get it to the middle there and I can do a little burn pile. And I'll get Daniel to use this dirt to fill in these holes and stuff. And then he could put rock here. He could put rock here from like, from like here to the road. He could put rock that way when they come in, cause they're going to go that way. I hope that it is, it will hold that dumpster, that dumpster truck and it will not start doing that same stuff. I don't, it's not going to do it as bad, even if it does it, because this is hard over here and it's soft over there. And when it rains, it's, you can sort of see a dip in the land here. So it just like, it could be a little pond there if we let it. Anyway, this all has to be cleaned up and pulled out of here and raked and mowed. And uh, that used to be one of Levi's little chores. I'd come on the front porch and watch him walk out here and he'd get on the little bridge, he'd get the mail, he'd walk back. That was just another little thing to get his little butt out of the house. He walked 1,500 steps this morning. We had to run to Cleveland. I'm gonna take my small trampoline, my little exercise trampoline and my ab, mach ab machine. Um, and I'm gonna put them on the back porch. And I'm going to try to get up early enough that I can do a workout in the mornings. Um, but the TV on the back porch is not a smart TV. And I got rid of the dish boxes. I sort of narrowed down. I was paying so much for dish. And we were basically only watching. Like if I go in the house right now, I... But could almost bet money. I'm going to sit right here for a minute. I'm thirsty. need to get me some water. Hold on. 
Yeah, so. Did I already talk about this? Or maybe I talked about it and then edited, edited it out. I don't remember. But, um, we had two hoppers. One in the living room and one in Levi's room. And the living room hopper fed the Joey that was on the back porch. Levi's hopper fed the kids' bedroom, which is now, remember, it's now my walk-in closet with the little, the little office space with my clothes closet. That was where the kids' playroom was, their little bedroom. And it had a TV in there. And, um, and when I say kids, I mean Caden and Connor when they were little. Uh, that was their room. That was their playroom. It had a bed in it. It actually had two beds. It had a bed and a trundle. I built the trundle bed um, to go under the main bed so they would both have their own little beds when they had sleepovers or stayovers or, you know, any anything. And then they had their TV. Um, they eventually had an Xbox. Or maybe it's a 360. I don't know. Now it's curl. It's rolled up in the camper just in a drawer in one of in the dresser in that in the camper house because they just they're not here enough to play and they're mostly connor's mostly on his computer um the game's on his computer anyway um levo's room fed that joey and it fed my bedroom joey and but you pay 15 dollars a month for a hopper and you pay seven dollars a month for a joey and i was thinking with all the smart TVs, and I'm subscribing now to all this stuff, mainly for him to see things that he, you know, it, and he's really bad about looking, he, he sees something, like when he's searching for his own movie, like something, he'll come across something, and if he doesn't realize, he doesn't, pay, he doesn't know, he hits buy on things. So, like, I randomly one day got an email about, thank you for subscribing to Boomerang. And I'm like, I didn't subscribe to Boomerang. So I said, Levi, what did you watch on Boomerang? And he goes, nothing. I didn't watch it because he's, <laughs> he don't know what he's done. Get that. Thing. I've got junk in my hair. Um, he don't know what he's done. Anyway, so I have to go back and look at what he's got. And sure enough, there'll be something. I said, did you watch you know, I don't know, Charlotte's Web? And he says, yes, I watch Charlotte's Web. And I said, well, you subscribe to Boomerang. I don't know, it's like $4.99 a month or something, or $5.99 a month. And then he'll, the other day we were subscribed to Showtime. And the worst thing, because he can't read, is that he watches things, he never watches anything straight through. He'll watch, like right now, I can hear it in there. He's got it probably on full blast. Look at these flowers behind me. They're star jasmine, and my porch smells so good. I'll show y'all in just a second. I can hear right now he's got the Huntsman Winter's War, the one with Emily Blunt. He will watch one part of that over and over. The part where she grabs that little boy's face and gets like a freezer burn on his face. He watches that part over and over and over. Is it your mother you miss? Your, your no, he'll, is it your father you miss? Your mother. And then she gives this little spiel and she grabs his face. He said, I wish y'all could hear it over and over do not love it is a sin she says it over and over and he watches that part over and over the thing is in a minute he'll get tired of watching that part he won't watch any more of the movie he'll find another movie like men in black where he watches that wife edgar's wife laughing when she says he looked like he's wearing an, an, some uh, something in an edgar suit over and over and over and over 
So if we subscribe to something like Charlotte's Web, he may watch 10 minutes of it. We've just paid $5.99 and we're gonna pay it every month from the rest of our lives for him to watch five minutes of Charlotte's Web. Anyway, I got um, a called dish. I'm already down to the smallest package and I do not want to lose my um, my local channels. And I know that there are all these different ways that you can, oh, you can get local by this, or you can just go get you this, or you can get this little thing to plug into your TV. You get your local. I am scared to death. Well, I'm scared to death that it's not going to work for me, and I'm not going to get local, so I won't be able to see what's going on. I don't watch the news every day. But sometimes in the morning, the first thing I do is switch to channel 26. I wait for the weather and I see anything local going on in Houston. Like, did something happen? Is something going on? Is something... But that's about it. But, um, in the evening sometimes, if we're expecting storms or whatnot, I'll check, I'll turn on our local news. It's going to tell me what's happening here. That's what's happening in Dallas or New York or, you know, Seattle, it's not going to tell me anything else, but right here. Anyway, what other thing I worry about is the things that he has saved on the DVR. The things he watches on the DVR. Because although he watches a whole lot of the internet TV now, things off Prime or Net, he don't usually, go, it's usually Prime. It's usually always Prime or the Disney Channel. And I'm not real happy with Disney right now, the way that they try to keep pushing things, but there's so many old good Disney from when they were normal that you don't, you know, he loves, and then Frozen and all the Winnie the Pooh movies and all those things, he, you know, he, he'll, but there are things he has saved on, like, I didn't realize, when you have a hopper, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Y'all don't even care. Y'all don't even have to know. But he had things saved on the living room hopper and he had things saved on his bedroom hopper. So it's, he always called it page two. It's on page two. So if he's in the living room watching something and he wants and he says, fine. Or if I have the remote, he goes, I want to watch blah, blah, blah. And if I start going down, he goes, no, it's on page two. It's on page two. He means the hopper in his bedroom. So then I have to go up to my second device. You have to look for the second device. And then it brings up all the save things. When I said we didn't need a second hopper, we lost all that. So there was some stuff on there the other day. He was looking for something and he goes, page two is gone. Page two says, no, it's not. And he goes, page two is gone. And it took me a few minutes to realize. And I said, baby. When we got rid of the hopper out of your room, you don't get page two anymore. So all those things that were on page two, the Huntsman Winter's War was one of them. It was just saved on the you know, on the DVR. I had to buy it just so he would have it on Prime. I think it's on Prime. Anyway, um, but after a while, you realize you're just you're paying all for this and then you start paying for all these little subscriptions for this and for this and for this and I was like we got to do away with some of this stuff anyway um I want y'all I wish there was smell TV smell YouTube if y'all if you have a star jasmine you already know what I'm talking about but if you don't and you have a place you could put and grow a star jasmine oh my gosh I will tell you that they are very close in the in smell of a gardenia. Not exactly, but there is a close proximity to the smells. And I just said the other day when I pulled, me and mom come somewhere, or she pulled in to get me and we were going to go somewhere. I said, I don't know, mom, maybe I should cut all that down. And she goes, it looks so pretty. And I said, yeah, but sometimes I get worried like it's going to get, I gotta make sure it never crosses and tries to feed into my house because look behind me. It's in front of the window, these little fake, you know, these are just decorative windows. It's growing around the post. I keep this, you know, like these are new shoots. Normally I would come out here and I would cut 
Nothing. I don't want anything grabbing people as they come on the porch. It's up going around the rafters. See, like this hanging down. This is right, look, right in my face. That needs to be cut. I need to train this, this part. I need to pull it down and see if I can't train it to go on this board up here. So it will start coming and come down and go that way too on this. I'm having to do my phone in a backwards way. Let me just... So it will go up and train all this that's hanging to start coming this way and come down these and then cover this because this is like completely covered. I had to put that lattice in there years and years ago for Chia when she would sit on the porch. But look at it. Oh, which way am I? Here I am. Isn't it pretty? That freeze two year before last, I thought it wasn't going to come back. There was so much dead. It took it a year because last summer it did not look like this. There was, see this dark space place right here. There was places like that all through it. You could sort of see through. It's just black. And I, I told Mama I said I don't know if it's going to make it, but boy did it make it. Look at that. I honestly love that look of it climbing like that. Oh, I'm in an ant bed. I love the look of it climbing like that. I just, I need to make sure that it never gets in the house. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go. I was uh, I'm gonna do some cleanup out here and pick up all these limbs, take them to that burn pile over there, drag these over to the burn pile. And um, I've already had dinner. I had a piece of bread. Um, Connor was cute. He came over. He came over and he said, Nanny. I said, yes, baby. I was in the backyard cleaning out the pool. And he said, he really wants, I really want to do something, but I'm not for sure if I have enough money. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Connor. I said, listen to me. I put an you know, I, he has this little green, and I've already talked about this before in videos, that little green light. You guys can look it up. If you've if you got grandbabies that you'd like to be able, instead of giving them cash all the time, or I hardly ever have cash in my pocket. So this is a way of just being able to load a card. And anyway, I said, okay, how much do you need? So, oh, he had a little bit of money on his card. So I, I, what we had to do was I had to make an app to Domino's. I had to download the app because he didn't know how the money exactly how much it was going to cost because he only wanted to order bread and i'm like you can't order just bread that's not worth the cost of them coming out the charge they're going to charge you so love you did everybody eat pizza good job he said um he just wanted to order bread, garlic, uh, cheesy bread, and a Sprite. And I said, well, no, you can't just order cheesy bread and a Sprite because your brother and sister are in there. <laughs> and mom, at some point, is going to cook dinner. I'm sure she's going to cook y'all something. So you have to, you can't just decide that you're going to order something just for yourself. And he goes, well, it's going to cost a lot for pizza. And I said, okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. So I downloaded the app on my phone and did like a fake order. Like I didn't place the order. I just put in what the kind of pizza they eat. And then I did the, the little cheesy bread or order. And then I did the Sprite that he wanted, the two liter Sprite, so they could all have Sprite. So he was gonna order bread, but enough Sprite for everybody. Anyway, and it gave me a total. I said, okay, this is how much money you're gonna need to place this order. And he told me what he had in his card, and I went in and put money on his card from, from you know, how transferred money to his card so he would have enough. And I said, this is going to barely give you enough. Um, after you place this order, you'll have about 5 or $6 left on your card. And I said, do not ask me for money again this month until it's the 1st of May. And he said, okay. And 
so he then he ran home and got his phone and he come back and he walked through he already has it downloaded on his card i mean he already had the app downloaded on his phone so he walked through and he ordered his little he ordered their Alf, alfredo pizza i never in my life i don't even know if i would like it but i love alfredo but i don't know if i would just and they didn't add meat or anything it was just an alfredo sauce on pizza crust I, which i guess is like dipping a breadstick in alfredo sauce which is good but anyway that's what he wanted that's she he said that's what his mom always orders an alfredo pizza and then he wants the cheesy bread and the Sprite. So he got it all ordered and it was so cute because he was over here talking to me. And I, was, I said, are you keeping track with your notifications? Because he put to notify him when they're two minutes away. <laughs> he goes, oh, I gotta go now, I gotta go. And about that time I heard Steph go, Connor, Connor. And so I walked out and walked over there and went, by the time I got around the car, he took off running. By the time I come around the corner, she was walking to the barn, eating a piece of bread. And I said, uh, is that okay? And she goes, yeah, I just told him that we'd already had pizza once this week and we didn't need to have it. We can't do this all the time, have pizza two or three nights a, week. <laughs> a week. And I said, well, he had most of the money himself. I did put a little bit with it, but, um, he wanted to order, and she said, yes, that's what he told me. He wanted the, he wanted them to pull in and say he's, they've got an order for Connor Denman. So, it's adorable. It is. Grandkids are the best. Anyway, I'm going to go and um, get some cleanup done, and um, I will see you guys later. Love y'all. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.